What's going on guys, Nathan here. If you already know how to get your footage from this to this, then please skip this video entirely. Just skip it. Because in today's video, we're going to take a look at the basic, very simple way to color correct your footage using primary bars. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. Again guys, this is cut to the chase, basic, super basic color correction, not color grading. If you are new to Resolve, keep in mind you gotta be in the color tab. In order to maximize the amount of space that you have to work with, I usually have everything turned off, little buttons up here, so I have more space to work with. A lot of times we will have the clips displayed, but I also turn that off. Now, before you start color grading or color correction any shot, what you want to do is park your hero shot, meaning that you skim through your footage. I usually choose the frame where the subject is in focus and also the majority is the skin tone. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to park it right here. Even in color correction, there are so many ways for you to quote unquote correct an image. Again, I just want to remind you that this is a super basic color correction. So I'm going to show you the simplest way for you to color correct your image. And it might not be the best way. And after that, I'm going to show you how I usually color correct a footage. But first, let's create the nodes, label them, and then we're going to jump right in. This node here, right click, node label. Or if you have a numpad on your keyboard, you can press the forward slash. I'm going to name it exposure and I'm going to add another node, another serial node, or you can do alt S. Okay. And I'm going to name this one contrast white balance. The reason why you want to create multiple different nodes, because it's a lot easier for you to look back and see what you have adjusted. Now the scope button is right down at the bottom here and this button right here to pop out four of your scopes. If you are serious about color grading and color correcting, I highly recommend learn how to read scopes. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the blacks are not blacks, as you can see from the top left here and also in her eyes and her hair and on the scope as well on the parade. You notice that this bottom line, this bottom of this RGB is not touching zero. And sometimes it could be a stylized choice. However, we're doing color correction, right? So what that means is we're going to correct it. We're going to make it so that the image looks as in real life as much as possible. Now the easiest way, jump right into this portion right over here called curves. If you are familiar with Lightroom, you can utilize this to quickly adjust your exposure. However, this is the quickest way and it's not the best way if you're not careful. So I can adjust the curves right here. Make sure you are on the exposure node and I'm just gonna pull it in, okay? And I'm gonna pull this in to raise the highlight. When I'm pulling it in, I am focusing on her skin tone. And at the same time, I am looking out for my waveform to see if it's gonna clip if it's gonna go over this top line here i can even raise the mid tone up a little bit i'm gonna jump into contrast to make that finer adjustment what i usually do is just go overboard meaning just push as far as you can and then bring it back now as for white balance as you notice the blue channel is still a little bit higher than the rest go down here move towards the right so makes it a little bit warmer crank up the saturation so that's the super simple way to color correct your image and keep in mind by using temperature and tint it doesn't give you a lot of control sometimes you might not get the color that you wanted and just by limiting yourself to just temperature and tint you're limiting yourself to be creative so now I'm gonna show you how I normally color correct a footage a less destructive way and yet you have so much flexibility in order to control your colors again with exposure and I'm not gonna be using curves but I'm gonna use these wheels right over here you have the primary wheels and primary bars and also log I would not go over log in this particular tutorial primary wheels lift gamma gain offset lift is basically the blacks gamma midtone gain is your highlights offset is offsetting the whole exposure or colors of the image and primary bars it gives you different controls the difference will be in how you control the colors so in primary wheels if you have a trackball I believe this will work out really well for you I like to use primary bars because I can use my mouse wheel to scroll up and down, move it over to each of the channel and I can move up and down to make the adjustment. I feel that I have better control with using the mouse wheel. Let's tackle the exposure. So looking at the parade, also waveform, I need to bring the blacks down. So I can do that by going over to lift and just bring it down. Okay, and now push up the gain and I'm gonna bring up the gamma a little bit. I'm looking at her face, the skin tone, make sure the exposure is nice. 
go down the lift again okay i'm just gonna park it right here jump over to contrast boost the contrast up bring back some of that blacks and highlights and now jump onto the white balance the whole blue channel is a little bit higher than the other two i'm gonna use offset i'm offsetting the blue channel so i'm gonna bring that down and as you notice, by bringing the blue channel down, it brings out more warmth in the image. And now I'm going to go into saturation and crank it up again. Crank it up high, bring it back down. Let's take a look at another clip. As you can see here in the parade, the darkest part of the image is not dark. And as you can see here in this clip, that the darkest areas are still somewhat faded. So instead of pulling, instead of pulling the offset, what I'm gonna do is pull the lift. Lift make changes to the darkest part of colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it down to about there. And as you can see, the whitest part of the clip is not white. So we're gonna pull it up with gain. Gain make changes to the lightest part of the clip. I'm just gonna crank it up. And while I'm cranking it up i am looking at the skin tone there's always going to be a dance between lift gamma and gain that you're going to play with okay now i'm not going to touch the contrast i'm going to jump straight into the white balance and as you can see in this blue in the highlights you can see that in the parade as you can see the blue is a bit higher and also in the waveform and this correlates to gain gain deals with the lightest part of the footage so we're going to tackle that so i'm going to just take the blue down bring red up as you notice that I was making changes to the gain to get the clip looks as real as possible. And as you notice here again in the blue channel that in the dark area and I want to make some changes to that. So I'm going to jump right into the lift and just pull it up a little bit ever so slightly. Got to keep in mind every time dealing with primary bars or primary wheels. I know there's a lot of space here that you know we all can just crank it up really high. However subtle and minor changes make a really big difference. And that's pretty much it for this clip and as you can see this is what we started out put in some exposure making sure that the exposure is correct we didn't need to do anything with the contrast and for white balance and a few key things to keep in mind when you're dealing with lift it's just the darkest part of the footage gamma midtone and gain is the highlights that also correlates to these readings on the scopes so even if you don't have a calibrated monitor you can still rely on scopes in order to color correct your footage and one more thing that i would like to show you is if you go up to colors primary bars is also known as printer light if you have a numpad on your keyboard you can utilize the hotkeys by using this command here or just click on printer light hotkeys to turn that on it's not on by default if you love to use numpad I highly recommend you looking into using these hotkeys after you finish with the color correction you can copy these notes and paste them onto your clips do that by go up to the top here click on clips and as you can see on the right these are the same clips so therefore to select these clips here the ones that you have not color corrected and right click on the clip that you have already corrected applied grade and as you can see all of these clips have the same notes as the one you have corrected now another way for you to save these notes so that you can apply to other clips you go up to view stills grab stills or you can do Control alt g if you click on gallery on the left side here you can see your still you can apply these by select the ungraded clips you go up to the still apply grade and that is it thank you so much guys for checking out this video again i just want to keep this video super simple very basic ways to use primary bars to color correct your footage of course i will make a separate video on how to use primary wheels i feel like color grading is is different beast in itself and there's so much things to cover so i will gradually push out more color grading color correction videos for you guys so if you find this video useful please give it a like and share it with others if you have any questions please drop them down in the comments and if you are new here subscribe if you haven't i make resolve tutorial color grading and cinematic shorts anything related to filmmaking so on that note Stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.